everybody. I am back with my paranormal romance obsession, and we are going to talk about number two, the, the second book in the Mercy Thompson series by Patricia Briggs. And I did show you last time a picture of Patty. It's Patricia Briggs. And told you all about her. I will link that video down below in case you want to know more about her, in case you miss the first book in the series. This is my favorite, one of my favorite series of all time. I have a few that I absolutely will reread and reread. And I have reread this one, some of the books in this one, three times already. So here we go with Bloodbound. You know, some authors start writing books and know exactly where they are going and how they are going to get there. When I sold my stories, only after I'd finished them, getting anywhere was half the fun. But beginning with Dragon Blood, I had to submit at least something about the plot of the books I was writing. It took me a while to discover that there is an adventure in having an outline to follow as well. Just about the time I started to rely on it, an unexpected character pops in and announces that he or she is going to be an important part of the book. Or the plot takes, uh, takes a surprise, but logical... Okay, let me start that one over. Or the plot takes a surprise but logical turn and I'm out in, out in the middle of the lake without a clue how I'm going to get to shore. Bloodbound did that more than most. After the first few panicked moments, though, I realized that those unexpected turns make it a better story as long as I clean up behind me. And second, the story takes on a realism it didn't have before. Those unexpected changes are almost always sparked by something I didn't know about the characters or the world when I sat down to write the outline six months to a year previously. Let me tell you just a little bit about Bloodbound. Er, yes, hmm, I hate this part. It's very difficult to take a 100,000 word story and condense it into 100 words without making it sound stupid. My publisher does it very well, but since I, I only have the front cover, I can't steal from the blurb. So, here's Patty's version of the back cover blurb. What could frighten a vampire? Mercy is about to find out. While repaying a favor, Mercy finds herself face to face with a monster that should not exist. Her hunt for the monster will lead her deep into the real realm of the vampire where she will discover more than she wanted to about herself and the people she loves. Okay, that was number two, Bloodbound. And as always, I will leave a picture of the book, uh, book cover here. And if you like this kind of thing, if you like paranormal romance, or if you like me talking about them like this, I'm not really talking about them, I'm reading. But anyway, if you like that, Please give me a thumbs up and share this video. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.